Derivative of x squared plus 2x. Mm, 2x plus 2. Good job. Keep going. Derivative of 2x plus 2. 2, yes. And one more time. Derivative of 2, 0. Okay, so I took three derivatives. Now I need to anti-differentiate three times as well. So antiderivative of cosine x. Sine x, very good. One more time. Negative cosine x. Last time. Negative sine x. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to take diagonal products. So draw your little arrows. I got three of them this time, and the signs alternate. So plus, add an extra negative. Don't change the sign. Okay, so here we go. We've got x squared plus 2x times sine x x squared plus 2x times sine x. Then the next diagonal product, 2x plus 2 times negative cosine x, but there's another negative, so then that's going to be positive. 2x plus 2 cosine x. And then last product is 2 times negative sine x, and we don't change the sign, so it's just going to be minus 2 sine x plus c. Okay. You know, the back of the book left it like this, and I said, shame on them. I don't like it, because see how this term involves sine x, this involves cosine, and this also involves sine x? Why don't we put these guys together? That way, this poor little negative 2 sine x isn't lonely over here. I feel sorry for it. So x squared plus 2x minus 2 sine x plus, and then we can leave this all together, 2x plus 2 cosine x plus c. I think that looks so much better. What do you think? Let me know. I was feeling bad for the little negative 2 sine x over there. Okay, 